Hello children. Today we are going to learn about the resources. Hope you are all enjoying the online classes. Children, if you want to fly, give up everything that weighs you down. Powerful things happen when you start putting in the efforts to achieve your goals. So work hard, efforts will pay you for success. So let's move on into today's class and we are going to learn about the various resources children the metal ring the earrings and the plastic pen what are these objects made of they would have been made of the material called gold or silver and the pen has been made from plastic and this plastic is formed when the mineral oil is extracted from the earth and refined. Are minerals found in every continent and in every country? Yes, minerals are found in every continent but not in every country. So children, a country's social economic and political strength lies in the distribution, utilization and conservation of resources. What are natural resources? They are the resources which exist without the action of mankind. The natural resources are very, very essential for humans. Shall we learn about the importance of resources? The first one is, it satisfies our daily needs like food, Clothing, and shelter. It also boosts up a nation's economy. How are the natural resources classified? They are classified on the basis of origin and on the basis of renewability. On the basis of origin, it is divided into two types. They are biotic and abiotic resources. On the basis of renewable, renewability, it is, class, it is classified into renewable and non-renewable resources. Now first we will see about the biotic resources. What are biotic resources? Biotic resources are found in the biosphere and are obtained from living organisms. Example of this is forest, crops, birds, animals, fishes, man and the materials obtained from them. What are abiotic resources? Abiotic resources are natural non-living things in the environment. Example of abiotic resources are land, water, air, sunlight and metals like gold, silver, copper, etc. 
So what are renewable resources? A resource which can be used repeatedly and replaced naturally and it will not produce any pollution. So the use of these energy resources are increasing worldwide. And the example of this type of energy is solar energy, wind energy, and hydropower energy. Shall we see about solar energy? How do we get solar energy? The sun produces energy in the form of heat and light. And this energy is not harmful to the environment. Solar cells directly converts solar energy into electricity. India, China, Japan, United States are, are the major utilizers of solar energy in the world. Next, we will learn about wind energy. Wind power is a clean energy and the wind turbines does not produce any emissions. So, wind energy has become one of the economical and renewable energy. The modern wind turbines with three blades turns wind into electricity. The major wind producing countries are United States, China, Germany, Spain, India, United Kingdom, Canada and Brazil. And in India, the major wind farms are Tamil Nadu, Rajasthan, Maharashtra and Odisha. The next energy which we are going to see is hydropower energy. Water is a great source of energy and it is used for producing hydroelectric power. Hydroelectricity is generated from moving water with high velocity with the help of turbines and dynamos. The countries which produce hydroelectricity are America, Russia, India, Norway and Japan. In India, the states which produces hydroelectricity are Uttarakhand, Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Punjab, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. The next resource which we are going to learn is non-renewable resources. What are non-renewable resources? The resource that are consumed and cannot be replaced is called as non-renewable resources. Example of this is coal, petroleum, natural gas and minerals like iron, copper, gold, silver, etc. Non-renewable resources are divided into three types. They are metallic resources,
non metallic resources and fossil fuels in today's class we will see only about the metallic resources metallic resources are the types of resources that are composed of metals they are hard and they are good conductors of electricity example of metallic resources are iron copper gold bauxite silver and manganese copper is the no, is the known and used by man copper is a good conductor of electricity copper is used to make electrical wires telecommunication cable and electronics chile peru china united states congo and australia are the major copper producing countries next we will go into gold gold is a rare and precious metal and it has high demand in the world markets in olden days it was used for minting coins but now it is used for making ornaments and in dentistry iron is the fourth most widely available metal magnetite and hematite are the common ore for iron iron ore is the key raw material which is used for making steel this pure iron ore is very soft but its strength is increased many folds when adding it to carbon and manganese iron's low cost and high strength makes it usable in engineering applications like making of machineries machine tools automobiles construction of large ships bridges etc iron ore producing countries are china australia brazil india and russia in india iron ore is produced in jharkhand odisha madhya pradesh chatisgarh karnataka and goa children in today's class we have learnt about the importance of renewable and non renewable resources the uses of it and the major countries which produces it that's all for today's class children we will learn more about the non renewable resources in our next class today's assignment is explain the different types of renewable resources children write the answers in your cl social class work thank you children we'll meet you in the next class